This is John Zarella reporting live from Miami. All right, John, thank you. 25 minutes now before the hour. It is mid-October, the 15th of October today, and the chill of autumn normally ushers in the fall harvest on America's crops. But for many farmers on the East Coast, this is indeed a season of discontent. CNN's Gary Tuckman with more now on how a cruel summer helped sow the seeds for a dismal fall. On this windswept farmland in Orange County, New York, the fields are barren. The onion crop has been harvested, but a meager crop it was. The summer's drought on the East Coast has made life financially devastating for many farmers, including onion farmers Chris and Eve Pavelski. It's been an, an incredible disaster. It's been actually worse than we thought it was going to be. This is what the Pavelski's farm looked like two months ago, just after the harvest began. The onions were dry, but the husband and wife farming team thought no more than half of them would be lost. They were wrong. In bags, we usually average uh, 800 bags. 50-pound bags. 850-pound bags to the acre. That's, and that's a conservative estimate. Um, this year, we're averaging, I'd say, around 250 bags to the acre. Pavelski's estimate they will lose $150,000 this year from their small family farm. But they say they haven't lost enough to collect money from the government's catastrophic insurance program. Crop insurance agents in this area say they are swamped with inquiries and claims. I do five, six days a week, and uh, at night I do all my paperwork, and when I come home from church I do my paperwork, and uh, we just keep on going. President Clinton is expected to sign a farm aid bill with some of the money going to drought victims. The New York State Department of Agriculture estimates weather-related crop losses on the eastern seaboard this summer total $2.5 billion. But the farm bailout appropriates $1.4 billion for such losses. And that's not just for the east, that's for the whole country. Some of that federal money will also be used for livestock losses. Eve Pavelski does the math and thinks she'll only get pennies on the dollar. At this family farm, there is not a lot of optimism about the future. Hope we can make another year. Gary Tuckman, CNN, Goshen, New York. 22 minutes now before the hour, the 50 caliber rifle is used in the fields of war.